a, a kind of sexual companionship in the afterlife. She is depicted in a very nubile, young, feminine, beautiful way. Um, I really like that this object brings up more questions than it answers, and I like that about the exhibition as a whole. Fans were essential in Egypt's hot climate. Fan bearers would have accompanied Tutankhamun wherever he went, and the post of chief fan bearer was a prime one at court, partly because he always stood close to the king. This fan, found in Tutankhamun's tomb, once had luxuriant brown and white ostrich feathers all around its arched top. The golden fan plate depicts Tutankhamun hunting ostriches. The king stands in his chariot drawn by two galloping horses. He pulls his bow taut, aiming at an ostrich. For me, when I really look at the fan, and you look at how the artist in the gold draw this scene of King Tut hunting the wild animals, and, uh, and that is, in my opinion, is a masterpiece. Archaeologists had long searched in vain for Tutankhamun's tomb. In November 1922, Howard Carter, funded by British nobleman Lord Carnarvon, was working in the Valley of the Kings. The area had already been heavily excavated by others. Disappointed by Carter's meager discoveries so far, Carnarvon was about to stop funding the excavations. But suddenly, their luck turned. After several seasons, Lord Carnarvon began to get a little bit anxious about how long it was taking Howard Carter to find something really significant. And so...